all right what is going on guys it is stormcat back with another video and i'm going to just show everyone how to get wings so you know for those of you that don't really know how to get wings if you've been in my all item world and you don't know how to craft them yourself and you'd like to make your own pair of wings well now i'm going to show you uh for you know new beginner players who haven't uh crafted any wings yet and you're just getting into hard mode and need to know how this is the perfect video for you. So, if you want to know how to get one of the best accessories in the game, uh, learn how to fly around and move very quickly about your world, this is the video for you. Alright, so, uh, first step in actually getting wings, guys, is you must defeat the Wall of Flesh. Now, you will know you defeated the Wall of Flesh if you have this biome here. If you have the hollowed biome, let me teleport real quick. So, you guys will know you're in hard mode if you have this hollowed biome here, you know. If you have all the really colorful trees and these pink stone blocks, then you are in hard mode. Uh, that's the first step to getting wings. Uh, the way you get into hard mode is by defeating one of the bosses called the Wall of Flesh. And I actually have a video on how to do that if you need a specific guide on how to defeat the Wall of Flesh. Uh, that will get you into hard mode. Alright, so once you are in hard mode, guys, the next thing you want to do is find a floating island. And if you're in hard mode, you've probably already found a floating island. Uh, but I will show you exactly how I find floating islands here in just a second. Alright, guys, so the best way to actually find a floating island is to get the uh, meteorite bullets. So... You get the meteorite bullets here. Ah, here we go, meteor stuff. So you just grab a stack of these. You can craft them with meteorite bars and regular old musket bullets. And the next thing you want to do is just grab a gun. Uh, grab any gun and just shoot up from the surface until you have bullets reflect down. The way that this works, guys, is the bullets will bounce down because what meteorites bullets do is they bounce off of things. So, you know, you shoot it straight up, they come back down. You can obviously, we have a floating island here. So, uh, just give it a second. These bullets will ricochet. There you go. You can see these bullets bouncing back. So, you can see that we have a floating island. Um, so, you know, I do have mods on, but it's going to be these floating islands here, not these circle ones. Uh, that's part of a mod there, but these floating islands right here. So let's go up here. Uh, once you find it, you know, with your meteorite bullets, what you want to do is grab some rope or just some regular blocks and just build your way up here slowly. Uh, next, what you want to do is find the top, the highest cloud that you can and just build up a little bit so that you are in the darker part of the space biome or sky biome. And what you want to do is build a little platform, because we're going to be fighting some enemies up here. Alright, so we're going to keep building up here. Uh, and my Stardust Dragon is going to take care of these harpies right here. Uh, but that's exactly what you're looking for, is these harpies. Uh, to build the easiest set of wings, what you need to do is just collect 20 harpy feathers. Uh, now, there is a chance that you will get a giant harpy feather, which is always good. Um, so they will drop these little ones here. And you will have to collect 20 for the easiest set of wings. If you get lucky and get the giant harpy feather, I believe that they do fly a little further. And the drop chance isn't great, but you know, if you do end up getting lucky, it's a nice pair of wings. Uh, what we're going for is the angel wings. Alright, so as you saw there, the little Stardust Dragon killed a wyvern for me. Now, what I'm going to do is actually get rid of that Stardust Dragon so that you guys can see this process. Um, so what you need to do is one, get those harpy feathers, like I said before. And then the other thing you wanna do is kill enough wyverns to get 20 souls of flight. So what I'm gonna do is just sit here and wait. And all you really have to do is wait for a wyvern to spawn. As long as you are high up in the map, you will be able to get a wyvern to spawn. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. I also have a guide on how to farm souls of flight if you need that. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is just sit here and wait for a wyvern to spawn. Uh, obviously, we already had one of them spawn, so we're going to grab these souls of flight. And you can see we got six there, so we're going to need quite a few wyverns killed before we can actually get some wings. 
I'm going to sit here and kill these harpies, grab some feathers. Um, and you're just going to stay up in this sky biome for a while. Uh, you know, as long as you've gotten 20 of the harpy feathers and 20 souls of flight, you can craft these wings. Uh, as you can see, we just had a wyvern spawn here. The best thing that I can tell you is just try to evade the wyvern as much as possible. It's really tough actually to do without wings. So what I recommend is bringing a few minions that you can spawn and grab your strongest weapon and just do your best to kill these wyverns because they are pretty tough to kill. Um, but you know, once you finally do get enough souls of flight, it's definitely worth it and they become easier to farm later on. Another tip I can give you guys is to build a little platform and grab a water candle from the dungeon if you know what those are. And what you can do is place a little table down and we'll grab a water candle here real quick. We'll grab a water candle here real quick and place it down so that we can increase the spawn rates. Now what this will do is make wyverns and harpies spawn more making this farming process a bit easier. Alright, so as you can see, we have another wyvern here, and we now have enough souls of flight. All you need is 20, we now have 26. So what I'm going to do is spawn my little stardust dragon here, and we're going to farm for the rest of these harpy feathers. Another wyvern, as you can see. And as you can see, the water candle is making things spawn much, much faster, so... Definitely a really good tip there. As you can see, we're getting wyverns like crazy. I'm actually taking a lot of damage here, but that's all right. And um, we're just going to sit here and farm feathers until we have 20 harpy feathers. Obviously, guys, this is much easier because of the gear that I have, but it is doable with other stuff. Uh, you know, I recommend after hard mode grinding to titanium or adamantite ore. Uh, armor and you know that'll probably give you enough defense to last against a wyvern as long as you have a decent damaging weapon with you um, but it is definitely doable right into hard mode it's just going to be a bit more difficult all right guys now we have enough feathers to make our wings you need 20 souls of flight and 20 feathers i believe and all you need to do is then go to a mithril anvil and you should be able to craft your first pair of wings. So we'll teleport down here. We'll get our mithril anvil. And we will craft these wings. Alright guys, so make sure you always go to your guide and make sure you know the crafting recipe. Um, as I forgot souls of light. Of course, you know, uh, every different type of wing will require different types of souls. Sometimes it's only flight, and sometimes it's night, sometimes it's light, and sometimes you don't even need any souls at all. Um, but for the first starter pair of wings, we are going to be farming souls of light. We're going to be crafting the angel wings. So our next step, guys, after getting all of your souls of flight is to go to the hollowed biome and farm souls of light. What you want to do is make like a big area in the hollow and just farm uh, all the enemies that spawn there. Uh, as you can see, my hollow actually kind of took over my corruption, which is not bad. So we're just going to mine our way down here and you see all of these little enemies spawning here. Eventually, after a while, you will get a whole bunch of souls of light. And what you want to do is actually go into a little bit deeper of an area in the cavern layer. Uh, that way you're getting souls of light. Because if you're closer to the surface, you won't get them. Alright, next guys, what you want to do is just dig deep enough until you start getting souls of light. So my Stardust Dragon is going to kill a whole bunch of stuff in the hollow for us. And when I start seeing Souls of Light, we'll stop. And we'll just sit there and we'll farm until we have 20 of them. Alright, as you can see, we got our first Soul of Light right over there. It's that pink little spinning ball right there. And what you need to do is collect 25 of these. So, I'm just going to sit here and let my Stardust Dragon do the work for me. Uh, you know, you can kill these enemies any way that you'd like. And they will still drop the Soul of Light. 
And um, I'm just going to sit in this big open area. That's the best way to farm these. And I will get back to you guys when I have 25 souls of light. Alright, as you guys can see, we now have 35 souls of light. We now have 50 souls of flight, which is plenty. And 22 feathers. So what I'm going to do now is go back to my house and we can craft our wings. Alright, we're here in the house and now I believe we can craft our first pair of wings. So, actually we only need 10 feathers, 20 souls of flight, and 25 souls of light. So I had the crafting recipe a little wrong with the feathers. Uh, but besides that, we got everything perfectly right. Uh, 20 souls of flight and 25 souls of light. It is going to take a little bit of time to farm, but it's not going to be too bad. As long as you got a decent set of armor and an okay weapon, maybe with some summons, you'll be just fine. So, now that we can craft our wings, let's make them. Hopefully we get a good prefix. We got hasty, which is plus 3% movement speed, which is not too bad. And there you go, guys. That is how to make your first pair of wings. I know this was a bit of a beginner tutorial. So for those of you more experienced players, I understand if you didn't really get much from this video. Just because this is more of something for people who haven't created wings yet. Um, but that is how to craft the angel wings. If this did help you in any way, shape, or form, please definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay up to date with all of my tutorials and news updates for Terraria. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Definitely check out one of my other videos on screen. On the right is one YouTube suggested you, and on the left is my most recent upload. Also consider hitting that middle subscribe button if you did enjoy the video, and I will see you guys in the next one.